What's up, Brooklyn? This is Jerobi White, founder and chef of Each Rhymes of Life. We're here at Brooklyn Fair for Chef's Roulette. We're gonna see right now the five ingredients you chose for me to cook for you today. So let's get shopping. Okay, the five ingredients are lamb chops, white asparagus, graffiti eggplant, chipolini onions, and black plums. White asparagus are white because they're grown underground and they don't get any sunlight, which doesn't give them a chance to produce chlorophyll, so they turn white. Just wanna make sure they're, they're firm and not a lot of marks and bruises on them when you're picking them out. Graffiti eggplant, beautiful graffiti eggplant smaller than the uh, normal variety of eggplant, high sugar content, very sweet and delicious. Chipolini onions. Again, sweet. <laughs> um, they're small, just like regular onions, um, yellow onions, I should say. The shape makes them great for roasting and doing roasts and things like that. Hey, hey, how you doing, how you doing? Uh, how are your lamb chops today? Awesome, this is really good. Yeah? yeah. Um, let me get two of the lamb loin chops right there. You have a nice day. Great, thank you, you too, man, thank you. Last but not least, some sweet black plums. Hmm. We are at Food Works today, and let's see the ingredients that you chose for me. Lamb chops. White asparagus. Graffiti eggplant. Chipolini onions. And last but not least, black plums. And for my special dish, this is something I like to make all the time, uh, barbecues and what, what not, grilled fruit salad. The secret to tender lamb, I think it's all in how you cook it, to be honest with you. First, I'm going to season the lamb chops. A little salt, pepper. Both sides. I'm gonna clean these cipollini onions because I'm going to saute them for a little while and then stick them in the oven to finish. Growing up, uh, my parents got divorced and it left me with a lot of time in the house by myself. And so out of necessity, I learned how to cook. I wasn't really allowed to watch TV per se, but I was allowed to watch PBS. And on PBS were all the cooking shows. So that's really where I learned to cook. Once I got to culinary school, we started going on tour and then it always became a 1A, 1B situation. When I wasn't on tour, I was in a kitchen. When I wasn't in the kitchen, I was doing something music related. Just like music, when you're in a kitchen, you're only as good as your last dish. And when you're a musician, you're only as good as your last song. What I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna take these and put these in the oven, let them cook down. And when we cook down, we're gonna puree them and make a nice little sauce for the bottom of this, this lamb dish we're gonna make. So now, what I'm gonna do is put a little oil in the bottom of this pan. Throw these in here. A little salt. A little garlic. I'm gonna put these in the oven. So I think now we're gonna put these in. We're just gonna give them a little toss once or twice and we're gonna put these in the oven as well. I'll let them do their thing so you don't have to think about them. Of the white asparagus, Aside from the color, they'll have a much milder flavor than, than the green asparagus. What I like to do with the uh, white asparagus, I just like to just take some of the end off, just take some of the bottoms off. Since we have our lovely grill there, I'm gonna grill these white asparagus. The contrast with the white and the, uh, the grill marks will be nice, it'll look nice on the plate. Graffiti eggplant, aside from the size and the color, they are sweeter and have, I think, a little bit less of the eggplant flavor that you are familiar with. 
Okay, let's uh, take these onions out of the oven right now. Perfect. Set those there. We cook the plums all the way down. For a piece of lamb this size, this thickness, medium rare would be probably four minutes on each side. I'm not even gonna tell you how to cook it more than medium rare because I want you to cook it medium rare. That's what you wanna hear. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? We're gonna let those cook about a minute each side before we stick those in the oven and finish. We're gonna take our white asparagus, grill these a little bit. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now, this oven is up pretty hot, it's a convection oven. This is gonna go in the oven for maybe seven minutes. Let's set these here, because we're about to plate. Take a little bit, a little smear. Couple of onions, a couple of asparagus. Beautiful, 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 beautiful eggplant. And the chops that have been cooked to temperature and let them rest for, always let your meat rest. Just want to finish it off with a little green, because we love green. So here we have like a confitao puree-ish thing that I made with the plums it's on the bottom. It's chipping the onions, the graffiti eggplant, we got the white asparagus, and all of these, these flavors are gonna tie in well together. And here you have it. So now we're going to start making my grilled fruit salad. We have yellow pepper, orange pepper, peach, white peach, nectarine, red onion, and red plums. Um, this salad works with any kind of stone fruit. I found this is the best that works with this salad. This grilled fruit salad goes excellent with seafood. Olive oil, some salt and pepper in here. So we're just gonna put these on the grill and let them grill. Not too soft, just to get some grill marks on them. We have this grill here on high. Now I think we should take our fruit off of the grill. I want them to look like they've been touched by fire. See, that's exactly what we want. To finish our fruit salad, place it in the bowl. That looks fantastic. To finish, we have lovely, 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 everybody's favorite goat cheese. Sprinkle that over the top. Pistachios and goat cheese, to me, just go so well together. There we go. Little green onion. Bam. We're done. Hey, Jerobi. Understand you're tasting the food today. Yes, I can't wait. Okay. Wow, this looks great. <laughs> All right, we'll see. I'm gonna try the lamb first. Oh my god. Wow. The lamb is so juicy and soft. Mixed with the plum, you have that tangy, tarty, but earthy kind of taste with the lamb, which is amazing. Great combination, great balance. Jerobi, you did your thing on this one. I love it. I recommend it to everyone. This is an amazing dish. So now I'm going to try the grilled salad. Wow. The combination of the goat cheese and the, and the nuts is amazing. I think this is one of my favorite salads.
next time.